<coughs> so how's everyone this morning? Morning market dropped a bit, uh, correction, right? Okay, I think we are still in the correction phase. Later, we'll go through the market, okay? So today is our usual webinar. The date is 24 February, time is 10.30. Good to see everyone here, okay? Uh, this webinar is for our SMT graduates, okay? Uh, now I do a bit of uh, public webinar, okay, on Friday. Uh, hopefully, it's useful for the public. But today is our exclusive uh, SMT graduates webinar, okay? We, the difference is be between the two is because for SMT students, we are more familiar with the system. We know how to use the system, trigger, things like that, okay? So I'll spend more time on, on the trigger and setups and how to enter exit, okay? For the public one, we're more like uh, demonstrating the system, okay? So let's get started. First, we want to go through Again, we're going to go through three parts. First part is we're going to go through is the market. How's the market doing? If you come for the webinar regularly, you should know okay, what is our view uh, because it's always a continuation. The view doesn't change every week. Okay, So uh, uh, the view should remain the same. Okay, So let me ask you all first. Okay, let's go to weekly charts. Quiz time. Okay, What do you all think is the Trend of SMP up, down, or sideways. Okay, I think you all know, right? Okay, it's up, right? Okay, so it's so the, the, the thing is up, okay. Right now, because it's overbought, can y'all see here it's overbought? Okay, so right now it's correcting. Yeah, it's correcting. Okay, it's correcting, and then now it's going to oversold, okay. Uh, does it mean we all buy today? Doesn't mean that. Okay, so what, what you want to do is uh, get ready our 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 funds, okay? To wait and get ready to trigger. Okay, so just to have a confirmation, we can also use the GMMA to guide us. Okay, so we can see the GMMA when it guide us. We also have the same view that the trend is uptrend, yes or no? Okay. So right now it's correcting because of the uh, overbought. Okay, it's correcting and uh, it may settle down around this area here. Okay, so this dotted, this green line, this series of green line here, will be the area where it can uh, support. Okay, we can find support area over here. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, uh, it doesn't mean to buy immediately. We want to look for a rebound. Okay. And the rebound, when the rebound happen, then we want to look for to buy. Okay, hopefully it can rebound uh, in between three, three, two, three, and three, two, nine, seven. Okay, we will see from here next few days. Uh, if you're alert, okay, please go and see whether there is a rebound from the market. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a daily view. Okay, this is the daily view, and uh, this is the weekly view. Okay. The weekly view is also the same. Okay, the weekly view is wow, we have been overbought for a long, long time. Okay, you can see here overbought, 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 remain overbought. And then right now we're correcting. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> if the market if the market corrects more, okay, if the market corrects more and we do not have a week daily swing, then we will have a weekly swing back to maybe around 3,100 maybe area. Okay. Looking at the trend, okay, this trend is strong or weak. This up move, do you think it's strong or weak? I think it's strong, right? Okay, so uh, I will first look at the first line here, okay, for the support, and then second line here for the support. Okay, in either case, I want to look for setup, the swing to buy on dips. Okay, if the daily, if on the daily charts, if it drops more, okay, if it drops more. That means if it drops uh, beyond here, then we don't have the daily setup. Then we, in that case, we look for the weekly setup into the into the 10 MA or the 20 MA. You got what I'm saying? Okay. So at the moment, it's weight. Okay. At the moment, it's weight. We do not know whether the daily will swing up or the weekly will swing up. But in either case, we want to look for buy on dips. Make sense or not? Okay. If it, if it, if it, Corrects deeper, then we look at weekly swing. If it corrects shallower, then we look at daily swing. In both cases, we are also looking for swings up. Yes or no? 
Okay, I don't do quiz now because you know it will take a long time, right? Okay, any question? Is it clear? Yes or no? Clear? Okay. Any question can ask, okay? If not, let me go to NASDAQ. Okay. NASDAQ, uh, similarly, uh, weekly charts overbought. Okay, you can see from here. You see the market, why my view are, is it will not like crash, right? It's because the underlying, can you see the underlying? The underlying is so strong. We have from here to here to here. Even if price correct until here, uh, still uptrend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little bit more bullish, okay? That is the, saying that, right? Market is very overbought, okay? You can see that. It's overbought, 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 overbought. It's market is very overbought, okay? So some healthy correction is good, okay? So if you want a weekly chart, we can correct back uh, down to maybe here, okay? Correct back down to here, or even slightly lower down to here. These are all opportunity to buy on dips, okay? We want to wait for it to finish dropping and then rebound, then we can do a one month trade for weekly charts. Correct or not? Okay, uh, I'll change that side later. Huh? Okay, so on daily charts, if it correct shallower, okay, if it give, a, give us shallower dips, you see, if you keep waiting for weekly, right? If you keep waiting for weekly, uh, from here, from here, you got one opportunity, two opportunity. From here, all the way until here, from here, all the way until here, if you look for weekly swing, uh, there's no opportunity, yes or not? Okay, but if you go to daily swing, okay, if you go to daily swing, at least from here to here, you can still do some daily swing. From here, you can have a dip here, you have a dip here, yes or not? Okay, so whether it's weekly or daily, it's up to you, okay? At the end of the day, uh, your time frame is important. My point is, uh, which Mark mentioned also, is for daily swing, some people may not be so uh, able to enter exit quickly, okay? So if you think you cannot enter exit quickly, like you have to do a swing in and out like that, in and then up like that, or swing from here in and out like that, you cannot do that, then maybe do weekly. Lah. But weekly, sometimes you're going to wait longer because even though the cor possible correction, lah, it may not even pull back to the 10 MA or the CCI may not drop back low, like here to here, all the while the CCI didn't drop, okay? But the assurance is like that, guys. Okay, the assurance is we are still looking for buy on tips, yes or no, on both daily and weekly. Okay, can but we wait first, lah. Okay, we wait first. Okay, so now go to Hang Seng. Any question on Nasdaq? <coughs> no question, now. Nah. Okay, so uh, if you watch watch the uh, last few weeks, you will know that market here is what trend, Hang Seng. Sideway, very good. Okay, so sideway is sell on resistance, buy on dips. Sell on resistance, buy on dips. Okay, so where are the level of resistance? Can you see recently there was a level of resistance here? Okay, resistance here. Okay, so right now it's dropping. Where is the area of support? Okay, area of support, there's one here. There's one right in the middle. Okay, there's one right in the middle, maybe around this area. Okay. So again, then you need to wait for reversal candle. You need to wait for it to drop below, reverse up, then buy, go above, bearish candle, then sell. Okay, so you need to wait for confirmation again. Personally, I don't like to trade sideways, okay, because sideways is like 50 50. I like to trade uptrend because at least I know my bias. My bias is up or down. Like, example, when the price comes to here, I'm looking at daily charts right now. If my, if my bias is not sure, that means it can immediately uh, go here and pass through here, or it can from here bounce up. So I don't know whether it go and bounce or it go reverse. I also don't know. Okay. So, but if you are know prior to this, there was an uptrend or downtrend, downtrend, then you know that the bias is up, like the sound SP and uh, NASDAQ. Yes or no? But for Hang Seng, we don't know whether you're going to reverse bounce from here or reverse bounce from here. We also don't know. Okay, so that's the challenge with doing sideway trading. Okay, doesn't mean cannot do. You can see from here the level of support resistance. I've drawn out this. I, I will fix this. I will not rebrace this, but let's see how it goes from here. Okay, <clears throat> so your candlestick reading pattern need to be better. Okay, so uh, that is for Hang Seng for the daily charts, for weekly charts, also sideways. Okay. 
uh, sideways trend. Okay, there is a buying opportunity. Okay, if you all can see, there is a buying opportunity here for the long term. So one six, there is a buying opportunity here. This long term uptrend line, we can actually extend up this line. Oh, we can also extend up to the crisis time. Okay, so this is the the. The, the line is, I wouldn't draw until so far, lah, because if I draw until so far, right, it will not be uh, correct. Okay, we are going to go through some of the points. Okay, but you can see from crisis time, uh, I mean, after the crisis, uh, after the crisis period, right, I think the uptrend line I can draw is from here to here. Okay, this is like the uptrend line since the Europe crisis. Oh, so that is a buying on dips here. This was actually, if I'm not wrong, after the riots, okay? After the riots, this was the riots period, riots period, and then recently, this is the, this is the COVID-19 period, okay? So, after riots, after COVID-19, market is still higher than after riots, <coughs> okay? <coughs> Which is last year, okay? Any question on Hang Seng? You can also see from this candle, right? This down candle, and then this very strong up candle. Mm -hmm. What it means is actually here, right? This area here that is um, from here to here that is support, okay? Maybe it's government or whatever, I don't know. But this area here from 27,100 to 26,100, this area here that is bias also, okay? Also sellers are because sellers come in, but the buy, buying, right? Can you see this bullish engulfing? Okay, quickly engulf this bearish engulfing, bearish candle. Okay, so any question on Hang Seng? Okay, so KK asked a good question for Dow and S&P. I will not trade 24 hours. Okay, I will not trade 24 hours. I only trade the spot market. Okay. Uh, stop loss also same, right? Okay, <clears throat> I only trade the actual market. I will not trade the futures. Oh, so if we trigger in the in the in the in the future, I don't care. Okay, I only trade when the market open, trigger then buy. Can okay, okay. Same thing for stop loss, okay? Because stop loss are sometimes they will like, wow, in between the day and they suddenly go and hunt your stops. Correct. Okay, so stop loss also the same. So I will only put the stop loss during uh, only the spot market because stop loss sometimes, right? Some of the CAD provider is tricky. Lah. They want to hunt your stops. Okay, so do you understand? Okay, also I'll do only stop loss when the spot market open. If it gaps, it gaps. I also cut during the gap. I'll not cut during the not when market is not open okay okay so a good question uh this is more of a practical question but i want to share, share with one thing okay uh, which realization okay it's like daily, daily swing right not everybody can do okay so if you cannot do you cannot cut loss uh, better don't do then do position trading uh, do other things uh, okay uh sti okay sti STI right now. Doesn't mean that uh, swing trade, uh, position trade cannot stop loss. Uh. Position trade can stop loss. But because daily swing, right, is so fast, okay, you need to like quickly get up. Okay, so if you don't know daily swing, stop loss is even more challenging. Okay, so uh, next one is STI. Okay, STI is also sideways. It's also sideways at the level of support resistance. Again, it's around here, okay. So look at STI likelihood, it will come back and be test my 3150 area. 3150 area. Okay. Got it. Because here got resistance already, right? So coming back down to here. Okay, so there's one more area which is actually here. This is the area of resistance. So now price will maybe come back to here. Okay. 
Next is next is the stocks pick. Okay, stocks pick. I I will just do this. Okay, this is the results. Okay, uh, we will go through these results in just a while. Okay, uh, I also post this in the Facebook group. If you're not seeing it in Facebook group, you can see those stocks in Facebook group. Okay, so right now, let me go through some of my stocks first, then I'll go through yours. Okay, I noticed one thing is because we do a lot of traders GPS uh, stocks, uh, those prior signal all we didn't review. Okay, swing one, you can actually manage yourself. But traders GPS one, because the holding period is longer, <coughs> so maybe you can look at the prior signals also, okay? Because these are the signals that we have actually uh, mentioned before uh, last time, okay? <clears throat> so the new one is uh, BMRN. BMRN, okay, guys, I think, no need to say, right? You all need to know uh, about top loss. If you trade uh, like sure winner, uh, then it's scary, okay? So, uh, this BR, BR, BMRN, okay, BMRN, bullish signal, okay. So you can see from here, this was the, okay, this was a down move. Can you all see this was a down move? Market corrected and then market turned to uptrend, okay. Uh, the actual uptrend is actually here, okay, this part, okay, this part, the uptrend, okay. But the down move from here to here finish, okay, start from here onwards. Weekly charts turn bullish. Okay, so we start from here. <coughs> Weekly charts turn bullish. Okay, so we go back to daily charts. Okay, now we talk about entry. So, and third, maybe on the first arrow is here, second arrow is here, third arrow is here, and then exited. Okay, take profit, and then consolidation. This was a consolidation area. Okay, and after this, after this entry already, consolidated, take profit, and then now is the new impulse. Okay, new impulse. Look at this impulse, it's very strong. Okay, it's very strong. Uh, we have the arrow here, we have the impulse here. This is a very strong uh, signal. Okay, so now we want to enter. Okay, take note that uh, when we enter, we only enter if it clears high. If it doesn't clear high, if it does, does this, then you must wait for it to clear the high. Okay, then you enter the stop. Got it? Okay, you do not enter any price here. Because of this very strong impulse, it may pull back, okay, and it may do this, and then you can enter on this candle here, okay, or you can do, uh, you can do this, you can enter on this candle here, okay, or it can like immediately clear, then you enter immediately like that, okay, which is rare, okay, but if it immediately clear the high, then you can enter, okay. Any question? So B M R N. B M R N. Okay. Any question? <clears throat> no, I will go through. Uh, this is um, from back to the front uh, since this month. So from 2nd February until now. Okay, I just go through some of the stocks that we have uh, covered. Okay. L B R D K. <clears throat> okay, yeah, the entry price is 0.2% above the high. Okay, so this one, I will actually mention this stock before. Okay, I, I post out in the Facebook, mentioned in the Facebook before on this stock. You can see it's still uptrend going up. Okay, so uh, continue to go up. Okay, so these are the prior stocks. If you get, you can go and uh, see, um, these are the prior stocks we have mentioned before. Okay, you can go to um, here, uh, go to Facebook and you can find the stock. Okay, go and search and you can find the stock. And these are the previous signals that we have uh, talked about. Okay, let me see when was that. L L B R N D. Okay, <clears throat> so this was actually uh, 3rd of February. Okay, we mentioned uh, the stock. Third of February, yeah. Okay, so this is example of a hidden signal. Okay, you see here there was an arrow here, no teeth. Next day, pump immediately the teeth appear. Okay, 
So on the 3rd of February, I actually posted this stock, okay, enter, and then hang on to the trade, okay? So let's count the arrows, okay? So we have one, there's no count, two, okay? Uh, this one is three, so this is like four, four arrows already. This is like five arrows already. Okay, so this one is a bit run already. Oh. Okay, but this is a stock that we talk about on the third, okay, of February. So I mean just to review, okay, CHTR. CHTR. Uh, also third of February, okay, mentioned this stock. Okay, another hidden signal here. Then next day, trigger. Okay. And then still going up. So we have like one. This is two. This one I think still okay. This one I think still okay. Still can enter. Okay, so we have the move, pause, move, pause. Now it's consolidating. Okay, now it's consolidating. Uh, <clears throat> many ways to enter this stock. Okay, many ways to enter this stock. You can you look at the daily swing to enter. Okay, you can look at the weekly swing to enter. Weekly swing need to wait longer, lah, okay, because it may not pull back much. Okay, so maybe you can look for a daily swing. Okay, daily swing, then will be a like, price pulling back and swing up. Okay, so right now price is pulling back. Okay, then you can do a swing on this stock. Okay. Uh, this is just a review. Okay, these are the stocks we have mentioned prior to today. Okay, the only new stock today is uh, the B. BMRN, okay? So these are stocks that we have mentioned previously. LN, L, A, L, N, Y, okay, A, L, N, Y. So you see the consolidation, this was the consolidation phase. Oh, so the up move was here, consolidated, and then up move again. So likelihood, this one also can enter. Okay, this one also can enter. This is another hidden arrow. So from here next day, thief come out. Oh. Okay, so this is another one. Okay, you can the A L and Y still okay, still can enter. Okay, uh, then D O C U. These are all more recent one, right? I think like last week we mentioned or something like that. D O C U. Okay, so it went up, right? Okay, from seven February it went up six percent. It went up even to eight percent. So now it's correcting. Also, prior to date, based on this date, seven or eight we mentioned this stock. D O C U. Okay. This one also I think can enter. So first arrow here, second arrow here. Wait, wait, you, either, you can either wait for third arrow if, or you can use a swing to enter also can. Okay. Next last one is these are stocks we mentioned before. This one is last week. This one is last week. The D, D O C U is 7 February. You mentioned this stock. Okay. This one is the uh, 7 February. Uh, this one is last week we mentioned this stock. Okay. I think it was here. Okay. So from here, it went up on 15%. Today is down a bit 11%. This one already run. Okay, so from here we have first, you no, know, first arrow, first arrow, second arrow. So if you want to enter this one and you have not entered, then again you can look for swing. Okay, look for swing to enter. Oh. Alternatively, you can look for today one. Uh. Today is BMRN. Uh. Because this one already run out of big. Okay, and it's hitting resistance already. All the resistance is here. This is the resistance for BNR. Okay, do you think, do I think it will go higher? I think so. Okay, but uh, mid resistance maybe pull back a bit first. Okay, then it can go higher. Okay, yeah, it's major resistance coming up, but I think it's. We will clear the resistance later. Okay, so look out. You can use your skill to do re-entry, either a wait for a pullback. Okay, right now it's pulling back. Okay, then do a re-entry. Yes or no? Okay, so there are some questions that I need to answer first. Okay, I answer from your posting. Uh. TTWO, daily position shop what to do, TTWO, I think we mentioned this also, TTWO position short, 
nothing lah. You need to do anything, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so we need to look at this. We need to look at this is the move down, this is the move up. Okay, to give us more confidence, we can use the GMMA also. We can also use the swing also. Can uh, eat, eaten. So, nothing, right? Oh, no, no, no trade. Uh. You enter very good. Uh. So, wait for it to pull back because this is a move down. This is a move up. I think you can use the 10 MA because this move down is very strong. Yes or no? Okay, so you can use the 10 MA to guide you. So, right now it's inside this region of 10 and 20 MA. Yes or no? Okay, so. Uh, basically, nothing much because digesting this move down. Okay, so use trader GPS. This was the move down, and then now it's the move up. Okay, so okay, uh, the next one is to, to for it to go up, uh, to go up trend, uh, it must do a lot of things. It doesn't look at the GMMA or so it must do a lot of things. So for it to go up trend, uh, it must look very, very, very hard. Oh, so you see here, it is the area of resistance already. Here is the area of resistance. Oh, this is the previous support, right? So not the resistance. So you must clear this one, must clear this one, then go up. Very shake. Ah. Okay, I think the stock will be very shake to go up this way. Okay, so the path of least resistance is still down. Yes or no? Okay. So I finish I the next one. One year to one to two year time frame can we buy STI ETF at the support region? Okay, so if you see if we one to two year, then I go to weekly. Yes or no? I go to weekly, I look for STI. I even go to monthly. Okay, so go to STI weekly. Okay, remove all these things. Okay. I even remove this one. Okay. Then you just take a look at the chart. Oh, this is the one six crisis. I think this was the Europe crisis. Okay. Uh, this was the Europe crisis. And this was the Asia financial crisis. This is the Asia financial crisis. Uh, the global financial crisis. This is the Europe crisis. Okay, so you can draw a line. This one, I think, is five years. Ah. Five years, okay? Because an average cycle, okay, one, you see, ah, from 03 to 09 is six years. Correct. Low to low is about six years. So from here to here, 018 to 03, about five years. So then five years. This one, I think, is about maybe seven years. I think this is a low. This is a low. So right now I will draw the line from here. And then I'll do this. Okay. So the uptrend line will be more like that. So if I'm talking about the um I'm talking about the crisis, crisis time, recession time. Okay, Singapore going to recession time, we haven't reached there yet. Okay, the re recession time I think will be lower. Okay, will be lower here. Likelihood will be uh, I don't know where this line will go. Lah. Okay, likelihood will be this line. That is the recession time. You got it? This line continue to extend up. Okay, but for the current move, okay, from uptrend, uh, uptrend, that means we remain uptrend. This is from global crisis, euro crisis, and uh, right now we are near there. Lah. Okay. Okay. So, Melina, if you want to wait for one to two years, then should we buy the STI at the support region? I won't. Uh, okay, I will. Okay, if you want to buy, right, maybe I will stagger it. Okay, that means I will stagger it and I can either buy some here. Okay, I can either buy some here and then I look for if it correct lower to buy some at lower prices. Got it? Oh. 
X1, hidden arrow, is it the entry price, the thief appear on the day? The entry point, is it when the thief appear or the day after thief appear? Okay, the entry price is the day after the thief appear. Because on the day when the thief appear, you won't know. Yes or no? Okay, you won't know the, when the thief appear. So recently someone asked, uh, this talk, okay. Uh, I think Imran was the one who asked. Okay, so you need to wait for the thief to appear. But guys, don't be too caught up with the hidden arrow. Uh, okay, the reason why we don't teach hidden arrow is because there are so many non-hidden arrow there, right? Okay, but if let's say you are already in the position and you want to do the hidden arrow, you already have to stop, then you don't do it. Then okay. Lah. But let's say example, there are so many non-hidden arrow, then why must you do the hidden arrow? Okay, so this was a stopping asked by, I think it's Imran. Okay, so like example now, we got a real arrow here. Okay, the strong, strong arrow here. So this one, you see one candle, next day, the thief appear. Oh, one candle, next day a thief appear. So you can buy the next day. Okay, you can buy the next day over here. Okay, so uh, prior to that, here also same, we have the break resistance. Next day, the arrow uh, thief appear, you can buy the next day. Oh, so from here, arrow appear, then next day the thief appear, then you can buy the next day, which is here, okay? Usually, right, it's on the same day. Okay, most of the time, I would say more than 50% of the time, maybe on the same day. Okay, if you see like that, uh, the context is like that, it must be strong stocks. Okay, the, the, the ranking of the stocks is more important, okay, than the, the a hidden arrow and things like that. The ranking is important, okay. So you find that the hidden arrow appear, but on the strong stock, and then it's good, okay. Okay, slack. Long can you swing to enter more volume? So I think you're doing swing, right? Correct not? Uh, you're doing swing, right? So right now the price has swing up ready. Okay, the price went down, swing up ready. So, uh, no, I think you're using Trader's GPS. You cannot be using swing. Okay, you must be using Trader's GPS. And then now you're going to use swing to add more volume. Correct not? Okay, then wait for pullback. Lah. Okay, wait for pullback. So wait for it to price to pull back. Uh, you see, looking at this strong move here, like unlikely it will pull back down to this area here. So maybe I will say that it will pull back maybe to here. Okay, so then I'm gonna open high, close, low. Okay, if I pull back to here, this area here, I think will be good. I got $26.50 area or slightly higher. That will be a good level to get in. Okay. Next is Dow Jones, Dow Jones, 26,000. Okay, I don't know what's the question. Sorry, it's a question. Dow Jones saying 28,000 below the 50 MA giving me, we can go long or stick with the trading when the market open. Okay, so Dow Jones, right? Okay, Dow Jones average. This is the down move. Okay, this is the down move. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need to stick to the market open. Okay, so uh, wait for the market trigger, then you can buy. Okay. A, B, A, T, B, I, Valina, A, T, B, I. Stop when you talk about long time ago, I think. Or recent, recently one. Huh? Okay, so this is uh, still can hold, okay. Blizzard. Lina is still can hold Blizzard. Okay, so guys, you all need to also see like, this kind of thing, you know, the GMMA to give you confidence. Okay, where is it right now? 
Okay, you can also learn to use this one to see hey, what's the trend right now. So that you don't feel full ma, because this is correction, right? So you know that hey, this is correction. So not, not fearful. Okay. D, DBX and hey, I need to chat with D. Okay. Uh, last two again. Okay? I need to go off with D. D, X. Position daily. Okay. Position daily. Okay, this is a very big gap. Okay, this is a very big gap. Okay, so likely could this stock may pull back first. Okay, may pull back uh, to give you a better entry. Okay, so um, yeah, you see the downtrend, right? This is the downtrend line. Okay, so this downtrend line. So it may do this. Okay, it may do this. That means price may come back down and then do this. Okay. So right now, I think don't rush in first. Ken, don't rush in first. Let, let the price settle down first. Okay. Let the price settle down. So do you see the GMMA here? Okay. So this, this green line is very squeezed. Okay. If the price remain here, if the price remain here, then this GMMA will start to open up. Oh. Then the GMMA will start to open up. Then by then you pull back, then you can see where they are long. Okay. Next one is C W C H W Y position trading. I think there are better things than this stock. C H W Y. C H W Y. Okay, let's do a screen. Now this is in N Y S C, is it? C H W Y N Y S C. Correct. So if you do a screener at N Y S C. Running out of time, but okay. NYSE rank by month CHWY or 34. Uh. Um, maybe because now, now the stocks are not so strong, okay. But uh, CHWY, I will still wait for it to do this, okay. Similar, right. To do this, that means this this candle, right? This price should come back down to retest, then bounce off. Okay, so now the trigger based on the system, the trigger is here. Oh, okay. So if it doesn't clear here, wait for it to correct, back down, and then clear. I think that will be better. Yes or no? Okay, then GMMA should cut you already. Okay, so. By then, your GMMA, the green line, will start to open up. Okay, so you want the GMMA to be clear. Like now, it's maybe like down way, uh, downside is like that. Okay, so now the upside, if we remain above here, then this GMMA will spread out. Can? Okay, guys, I need to chat already. Okay, if not, then thank you very much. See you. Uh, Friday, I'm doing a webinar still. Okay, but for the public, if you want to join, feel free to join. Okay. So if not, then see you at the next webinar. If not, see you on Monday. Okay, bye-bye.